This is for the bottom left corner assembly and we do have a modified block so we're going to go to the booklet that came with the pack and it is a little bit simplified. They've changed the way they did the borders and they've taken one of the stars out of the center. So and one thing I did not do is these are the same color as these but these are a little bit smaller so if you go to the bag sort video you'll see that I have these are smaller but I forgot to label them so I had to sort them again when I took them out of my baggie um, to make sure that they were in the right location so if you sort them at when you sort the bag out into the baggies if you mark them then then when you do your block prep you can then have it a lot easier when you lay out your pieces so just like the last corner I've got just the center section laid out because I don't have much of a, a, I have a box that I work on here. So we have just the star assembly, but let me go through the assembly on the picture. What we're going to do is we're going to treat this section right here in this square as a block. We're going to ignore the rest of this and we're going to assemble this right here. And this is a three row nine patch assembly. So we're going to assemble this or assemble this unit, this flying geese unit, and then we'll add the squares, the flying geese unit here and here, add the center square and make that a row. And the same thing here is opposite there. And then once we get this square together, we'll move on to the next square. So we're going to assemble these three pieces, add it, these three pieces, add it, so on. So once we do that all the way around, then we'll add the corners and then we'll be able to add the edges. This is going to be treated as a separate unit also. This is a square and a square block. And so I've got focus fabric corners with a background square. And then we can worry about all the edges. So right now we're going to start with that center section. And that's right here on these right here. So I'm going to start, I'll start probably down here somewhere and I'll baste these. These I'm going to baste this side last so that my tags go away. Same thing here. So I'll do this legs and then the hypotenuse. This one I am going to, I've got to deal with the tags here, but if I do this first and then these, my tags will go in and then they'll nest because these can go in there too. So I'll do this first on this one, and this last on these two. My squares I based once opposite sides and then the other opposite sides. And then we'll put these into a row. So I'll get these basted and we can get going. So I basted my first row of pieces. I've got this I did first and so my tags are going to go away. And these I did the legs of the triangles first and then I did the hypotenuse. So my tags go away from the center section. So now I'm going to assemble my flying geese unit and attach my squares to make the first row of my center block. So I've assembled my bottom row of this inside square. So the next thing to do would be to do these two flying geese sections and then base this so then I can get this next row assembled. So I've got my second row pieces all basted just the same way as I did down here. So I've got these I did first and then the hypotenuse on each four of those pink triangles. I did this, the hypotenuse first on the white triangles and then the opposite sides on the square. So now I'm going to assemble this into its row. So the second row is now assembled. So now I'm going to connect it to the bottom section. So I've attached both of my rows together for the center square and this is what you should have. And now I'm going to assemble my flying geese unit for this top row, base the squares, and then I can make this into a row. So I've completed and assembled the top row of my center square. So now I'm going to assemble this onto the other two rows. So I finished attaching the top row. So now my center square is completed. 
The next thing I'm going to do is work on these sets of three triangles. So I will baste and attach this bottom section. Whoops. This goes like this. And I will baste these first so that my tags go away from the center section. So I will work on these bottom three first. So I basted and attached my three triangles together and then I attached it to the square. So that's what it looks like now. This is what they look like before I attached them together. So I went on to the next side and I basted these. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach them like that and then I can put them on the side here. You want to make sure that these points are right on the edge so that you're going to start at one end and then come in a bit, tie off, and then come to the other side so that you line these up exactly. So I'm going to assemble this and attach it to my center square. So I've stitched together these three triangles and now I will attach it to the center square. So this side is connected now and this is what you should have so far. Next I'm going to baste and connect these three and then I can attach it to this side of my center square. So I've got the other side here attached and we are almost done with these uh, triangles. So I've got one more side. So I will go ahead and base and attach those to the top portion. So I've got the top row attached. So now I've got this like octagon looking thing. The next thing to do is to baste and attach my corner triangles. And the basting, I'm going to baste these edges first and then this so my tags go away, away from the center section. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Now I got all four corners basted. So now I will attach them to their respective sections. So I've got the corners on the center square and now we have the extra pieces from the beginning. So this is what you should have right now in the center. And so the next thing we're going to do, we can add these things. Okay, so we're going to add this. Let's get some of these spaces out of the way or this pieces out of the way. So looking at the diagram, I can add this with no problem. So I'm going to base this on the sides first and then the long sides and I'll attach this to my square. So I've got this strip piece basted and make sure that the side with the angle rather than the flat side is at the top because you want to make sure that the flat side's on the bottom so it can go on the other strip good. So I will tape this together and then get it attached. So I've got my band attached to this side. So that's all done. I got have it take my tape off apparently. Then I'm going to baste on the sides here and attach this to the bottom section. So I've attached the bottom bar to my assembly. The next thing to do would be add these two pieces. It doesn't matter which order. I will be basting this side first and then this is going to be last because I want to make sure that my tag goes away from this square. So I will base and attach both of these pieces. So I've got both of my sides basted and now I will attach both of them to either respective sides. So I've got both of these sides attached. So now this is what we have for the corner. The only last little bit is the smaller side of it and this is going to be basted and then these are going to be basted. This is going to be last. So I'm going to baste these two first and then these on each one of these so that I can assemble them before I put on these tips. So I've got the square and the triangles around it are all basted and ready to go. And so now I will attach them together. So I've got all of my triangles connected to the square and now this is going to fit right into here and I will get that connected to the rest of the assembly. So I've attached the square to the corner. So this is what my corner looks like now. 
And the last thing to do would be to put these two pieces on. I'm going to baste these, this first here on the outside, and then I'll do these inside sections so that my tags will go out away. So I've got my two corner pieces basted, and now I will attach one of them at a time to the edges where they belong. So I've got my two triangles attached. And now that completes my bottom left corner.